I love free play, but it does just require a lot of work. Yeah. Sometimes, though, it's more important. Like, especially if you're making a lot of things, those numbers can add up. Very, very quickly, then. Come down here and look as much as you want, as long as there's not like a class happening. Um, I and I will, I'm going to throw it out to you guys here in a week. I'm trying to get a clay club together, and if that happens, then then that's going to be part of the clay club activity. And basically, we would just come in and like work together and have that community, but at the same time, we would work towards an anthropology. Um, just that empty bowl thing I was telling you about. So I love just little good things. Like I do a lot of secret little good things around the campus that you probably don't know. Like, oh, this is so nice. I wonder if I get this. It might be me. <laughs> um, so I just feel like I personally have like this weird. I'm weirdly unlucky. Like, like a lot of people are like unlucky, but like mine is like, what's next? <laughs> What's next? Bring it on. But like, it, it's, it's become comedic. Like, <laughs> how often things happen. So like, I think in my call, let me just do these little good things and not tell anybody. And I'll just do the good things and not ask for any like, you know, like gratitude or whatever. I'll just do the nice things and maybe one day I will Right, like fix that karmic deficit. My my theory is that like in a past life, I was really not a great person. <laughs> like yeah, the like, thought that I might have been like some sort of like war criminal. Oh no. Or something. I was just I have a crew. What did you do? To I you? don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid to go to psychics because like I just, I'm like, I'm, I know I'm going to walk in and they're going to be like, like I think like a car reading place opened up. Yeah. By, uh, yeah. <laughs> Larry Woods, that little strip. It's like yes. right next to the CBD shop. I'm so, I'm, like, I want to go, but I'm like, I'm so afraid. <laughs> I'm like, going to walk in and they're going to be like, you need to leave. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Of this uh, medium, he's like explaining like, have you ever had to kill someone on the way? Getting a reading, and uh, basically the reading, the lady, the lady who came in for the reading, her past life was um, the medium was a black woman. Right. Was she a slave owner in a past life? Her ancestors slave owners. Oh shit. Yeah. I would kick them out too, like in a heartbeat. That's some trauma. No, I'm I'm very afraid, but like past me did some like gnarly, gnarly shit. Cause there's gotta there there has to be 
it's too like it's too funny like and too often for it to be like a coincidence a exactly there's no way i refuse to believe like i can't even gamble for anything not that like everybody's good at gambling but like i could i could try my best <laughs> and never leave with anything but like i have a friend that was like i love gambling with you because i always leave with so much money if somebody sits next to me, they'll leave with like two, three hundred dollars more than they came with. And I'm like, sometimes you. I'm like, lucky you must oh. be nice. All right. So secret, secret ancient trick. Sometimes um, I use a sponge to throw. Yeah, I found that sponges actually help me control the pressure I yep. put on the hand. Exactly. I put too much pressure. That's why I've been messing up the cups. When I pull walls, I put too much You get pressure. a little crazy with the pressure? No. Yeah. Sometimes, like, if my hands... Yeah. 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 Sometimes... So I've got carpal tunnel, so sometimes my hands just, like, seize up Yeah. a little bit, especially after I've been working for a long day, and, like, throwing with a sponge in between my fingers helps in, like, the craziest way. And people are like, don't throw with the sponge. You're using too much water. I'm like, don't tell me what to do. But sometimes the sponge just takes away the water. Yeah, sometimes they mess me up. So like there's no there's no win or lose. Okay. So we are throwing a cup. We are throwing a cylinder. Okay. Karate chops. We're gonna do our karate chops just to get that like nice sort of wider shape and just like with anything starting close to the shape you want will help you out in the long run if you want a bowl start wider if you want a cup start narrower so i just sometimes use my two fingers and my thumb and i just push down real fast so this is alternative throwing with exhausted jc i i take shortcuts um i try to short throw each I'm trying to show you guys the right way to do it. But like if after you've done it for 10 years, you're like, let me just let me just do this real fast. So push all the way down, get a little more water, and then I will just sometimes I'll even just like grab it with my thumb right here. And I will just pull the clay towards my thumb and then just do one quick pull up but I brace my other hand. Um, these Take are not- your thumb from your left hand? Yep, so I'll just like hold, so I'll sort of like show you. I will tuck my finger in to like open it and I'll do that curl and I'll push it towards where my thumb is, like right here. And then I will just, yeah, I will just use my thumb and get that first initial pull this is not the right way to throw so if anybody asks it's okay you can do it if anybody asks i didn't show you, you need to learn the, the, the wrong, wrong way, way. <laughs> right but basically i will just sort of try to like push it to the right height and then from there i will go ahead and just do my first pull up um sometimes like this is sort of the cheating way. Like you're like, well, I gotta do this, and then I gotta do this. But like sometimes, when you've been like production pottering for a long time, like oh, watching production potters is so crazy to me. Cause like they can just like vroom, 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 done, vroom, 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 done. Like they're just oh, too much, too much, too much. So every time you get taller, you want to just but notice like it's pretty even, right? Like we don't we don't get crazy. And then we go back in with our old spongy boy. Take out some of this water. And like this is how you would like throw a pint glass. Like if I wanted to throw a very 16 ounce cup. So when you're pulling, where do you start from? I think 
think that's probably a thing that okay. I'm struggling. Yeah. So where do you start from? I think I usually go from here. Okay. So that's actually where I'm starting. I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm starting right here. Let me just, I'll just nudge in right here. You can kind of see where my fingers sort of come in. That's where the edge of my knuckle is, but I'm going to push in right here. We're going to come in and I'm going to grab all this material down here at the base. And not necessarily like grab, but I'm going to push it. And you can sort of see it like move upwards with me. Yeah. Often you're probably doing it exactly right. The issue is like one hand is probably going faster than the other. So you just have to just say like, who's from I'm doing this together. Like just sit there and like practice going like this, like at the same time. And like, it might be helpful to throw blindfolded a couple of times. <laughs> and you think I'm crazy, but like sometimes when you get so into watching yourself, you're not listening to your body. Yeah. 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 So, Often, like when I'm, especially when I'm on camera like this, I'll just watch the camera and just not watch here. But like, you might bring in a like a like a like a like a like a blindfold or like a like a bandana or something, and just do a couple blindfolds just for funsy, right? Because sometimes, like, just feeling it, yeah. feeling it versus like what you're seeing. It's sort of like that whole idea when in drawing, when you draw what's in your head versus drawing what you actually see, it's the same, but like your hands, right? Who cares what you're actually seeing? What are you feeling between your fingers? Because your eyes aren't doing the labor. These boys are. Um, it is pretty tall. <laughs> I did not intend to throw it this big, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to just, it's going to be a base. I've decided. We're gonna go out this way. Yeah, I think my problem is maintaining like yeah. the pressure. Even pressure, because yeah. like it'll be the top will be so thick. <laughs> yeah, or like the rim think, will be so thick. <laughs> I think I add too much pressure and then catch myself and then like uh -huh. release. So then I get these like lumps that yeah. like swirl yeah. around the cup. Somebody hand me a is there a, like a wire tool somewhere? Probably. It sometimes it's helpful to just yeah there you go sometimes you just it's like oh you're so lovely but goodbye sometimes it's yes and like this will tell you a lot about how you're throwing so let me just pull that aside and now it is a little narrow like right here but notice how like much material I still have at the bottom versus like how much material I have at the top. Um, and ideally this is like what it should look like. Ideally you want like straight up and down, but you know, the higher you go, the more material you take out. But that, that gradation should be very gradual because if you try to push it too far too fast or like what I think you're doing is if you put a lot of material up here, what's happening is you're getting all the way to here right here and then you're letting go <laughs> so you're not bringing that material yeah. any farther up and scared that like mm -hmm. i'm gonna rip off the top again exactly exactly so you just gotta like say i'm gonna just keep going i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep just going close my, eyes. Just close my <laughs> eyes and just finish it up just go until your fingers meet right because like that's the kicker most i know most beginners will let go at the top and then they'll have like a really like like thin center, a really yeah. thick top and a really thick bottom. And then it'll fall over like right here.